Okay, so when we left off last time, we had created our pins, and we are able to create those pins for each user. So you can see I'm still logged in here. I can go edit my profile, and we can see that uh, account there. And we still have a long way to go to make this look anything like Pinterest. So what I want to do first is make it so that we can add images. And then when we add images, then we can start to style it to have that panel view um, that is very synonymous with Pinterest. So to do this, we're going to use the paperclip gem from ThoughtBot. So if you find paperclip on GitHub, there is a really great getting started guide here in the README. And the first thing you're going to do is add paperclip to your gem file. Uh, and if I go ahead and take a look, I have already done this. Um, but let's go ahead and come down here. You'll see that I have paperclip added here. And once you do that, you'll want to run bundle install to install paperclip and make sure you restart your Rails server. Uh, next up, we're going to take a look at this quick start guide. So in this case, we can see what we have to change uh, for our model. Uh, in this case, it's adding an avatar to their user class. We're going to be adding uh, an image to our pin class. And so we can actually copy and paste this and go ahead and get started on that. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is go to our models and find our pin model. And we're going to come in here and paste this in here. Now, if we didn't change anything, this is going to give us um, effectively what is the same as pin.avatar. Dot URL to get the image URL, but we want to actually change this to something like pin image or just image. So I'm going to do pin image. So this will change to pin image, and so will this. And then these options off to the side are important. So you can define multiple styles, and what's really cool about this is that it will try to, uh, it will use image magic to create these different sized images. And so uh, in the documentation, you can read more about how these arrows work. Uh, but this is for preventing us from turning like a rectangle image into a perfect 300 by 300 square. So this will scale down to a 300 by um, whatever percent, um, you know, whatever pixel height we need to maintain our aspect ratio. But it will generate a medium and a thumb. So if we were to come back in here and look at this, this will actually allow us to do something like this or something like this. Um, and with all, all without having to really worry about how that works under the covers because Image Magic and Paperclip are going to handle that for us. And then finally, if for whatever reason there is no image, this will um, go ahead and try to find this default URL. So then you would want to go in and actually create this URL and give it the right, um, give it a, a missing.png so that you can display. Um, that for default images. And then finally, validates attachment content type. This is going to make sure that whatever we upload is actually, in fact, an image. Uh, if for whatever reason you're doing attachments of another file type, you will need to change the content type um, so that it can match on that as well. So we've added that. And if we come down to our quick start guide here, you'll see that the next step is to run Rails Generate Paperclip. Um, the pin, the model name, and then our attribute name. And so we'll go ahead and create this migration. This is going to create something that looks exactly like this. So let's go ahead and do Rails generate paperclip pin, pin image. So that matches what we've added to our model. And now we have this database migration. So if we open DB, and take a look at this new one here, you'll see that we have a new attachment that's being added um, for self.up and self.down has remove attachment. So we're going to do rake db migrate. This should create our tables for us. So if we go into our schema, you'll see now that if we look at our pins table, we have these pin image columns that we have access to. So now we're on our way. We can actually try to upload something um, using a form field. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our new page. And our new pin page is using a form partial, so we're rendering form. So let's go take a look at underscore form.html.erb. 
And here we have a um, description text field with a label. We want to add a new field that is a type of file field. So f.filefields. This will give us a input box for selecting a file. And then we have pin image, which is our attribute that we were creating before. And we want to make sure also, in order to support this, just like we did for description, that we will actually check in our controller to permit this pin image attribute as a parameter. So with that in here, let's go check our controller. So here's pins controller. And we want to go and find our pin params. So this is pin params. When we call create, it's going to build a new pin for our user um, using those parameters, but we need to make sure that we permit the correct parameters. So right here, under pin params, we have um, params that require pin, dot permit, description. We need to add pin image to this so that it can be permitted. And that way we can actually uh, allow us to pass that over. There's one other thing we need to do to our form, um, which is that you need to add multi-part true to your form. Uh, and the reason for this is that when we upload an image to a f using a form, we need to be able to essentially take that file, cut it up into tiny pieces, and they all those multiple parts get uploaded to our server. That's essentially what's happening here. So you'll want to um, add this to your form. So before we only had something like this, and you're going to add comma, HTML, colon, and then this hash of multi-part true. If you have any other options for your table, you will have those in here. Um, so for instance, like a method um, put or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and keep it to a post um, because we are creating a new pin. We're going to go ahead and keep it as a post because we are creating a new pin. So. If we save all of this, uh, if you have just installed Paperclip Gem, you're going to have to restart your server, so Rails S. And if we navigate to our Pinterest app here and try to create a new pin, we'll see that we have this uh, pin image option now. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab a photo. It looks like I have a photo of Han Solo here. Han Solo. Harrison Ford and create pin. So it says that pin was successfully created. Uh, if we come into our terminal here and take a look at what all was passed in here, you will see that here is the pin image file name, the content type, the file size, updated at all that detail. So it looks like everything happened. Um, but now what we want to do is we want to output the image to this show page. So we're on pin 20. So let's go back into Atom, and we are going to go into our show page. So here's show.html.erb. Here we're outputting our description. Uh, and we can actually clean this up a little bit by getting rid of description and just outputting our description. So here's Han Solo Harrison Ford. Now let's go ahead and just output our image here. Uh, I'm going to wrap it in a div. And we're going to come back to all of this and clean it up a little bit later uh, once we have everything added to our page. So let's go ahead and add a ERB output tag. And we have a new tag that we haven't looked at yet, which is called image underscore tag. And image tag will allow us to grab the URL of, uh, really using the URL of any image, but we have access to our pins image. So pin dot pin image will get us access to our pin image data and dot URL will get us our URL. So now if I end that output there and save, we should be able to see our image. Um, but we can also go one step further and actually use either our medium size image, which was a 300 width or our thumbnail. So if we come back into Atom, um, like I showed you before, we can pass this a parameter of thumb and we get that 100 um, pixel aspect ratio. Let's see if medium looks any different. So there's about a medium. And then again, URL is going to be the original size that was uploaded to the site. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and use medium for now just so that it's a little bit easier to see on the screen. Um, but we can modify that as we need to. 
So now if we go look at pins, let's go look at a pin that doesn't have an image, you're going to get this missing attribute here. Uh, that's where you'll want to come into your model and go find this default, default URL and create some kind of image. Maybe, maybe it's a, an avatar or some kind of placeholder image that you can use to display if there is no default URL. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this for now. Uh, and because mostly because we don't need it. Okay, and then we can go ahead and just edit this image and upload. Let's just keep uploading Harrison Ford. So now we'll have another pin. And update this one. Looks like we forgot our image. And then that way all of these will be updated appropriately. Let's go ahead and just delete that one. Delete that one. So that is how you use Paperclip. Uh, the next video we're going to go ahead and style things a little bit differently using masonry.